Billy, so you, you're down 22 there. Um, what was kind of being said in the huddles, and what impressed you the most about what you showed in the fourth? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think at least going into the half, I saw two things happen. I thought to close the first quarter and to close the second quarter, they really dominated us. You know, I think it was like a 17-2 to two run maybe at the end of the first, and I don't know what it was, an 8 or 9 all run at the end of the second. Um, you know, I give Io and Kobe a lot of credit from the standpoint they were pretty, you know, there was some urgency from those guys about fighting and competing and just staying with it. <clears throat> and, um, you know, they responded. I thought, you know, Kobe obviously had an incredible game. I thought DeMar in the second half, you know, really made a lot of timely shots and timely baskets. Um, I thought AC's defense, you know, was great. Um, I thought the minutes that Julian gave us in the second half were really good. So I thought the talk was really good on the bench. Guys just, you know, just all about trying to fight and compete. And I give them a lot of credit because it was – several runs in the game that we had to respond to, you know, that first quarter getting down in double digits. And then obviously starting that third quarter with the way they kind of jumped on us, um, you know, we needed to fix some things coverage wise. And I think the guys responded real well and did that. Um, but, you know, we've had some situations where this, this group has continued to fight, which I really respect. You guys uh, obviously got hurt second chance points. You closed the game on a nine one run after Sabonis fouled out. How critical do you think that was? His, him fouling yeah. out? Yeah, I mean, he's a great player. I think when you take players like that on the floor, it's, it's tough, right? Um, but I thought defensively we got some stops. That was the biggest thing. We got some timely plays. They started to trap DeMar, and really what ended up happening was that they, we were able to move the ball and get it out of some situations, and it opened and generated some good looks for us. And then I thought they did a really good job, you know, executing at the end um, on some side outs to get the ball in bounds, um, you know, and then – you know, late, DeMar making two free throws. I thought the, all those things that they, they did a really good job executing the things. And, and, we, and we took care of the basket. We didn't do a great job starting the game taking care of the ball. We did a much better job there as the game went on. Billy, a career night for Kobe tonight in terms of scoring. Just kind of, we've seen this growth and progression from him all season. And then after the All-Star break, maybe had that little dip. Just what did you see from him tonight? And how can he, you know, consistently just kind of keep on this path? Yeah, he's going to fight. You know, he's just going to do that. He's very competitive. Um, I give he and I owe a lot of credit. They were pretty, they were very passionate that, you know, we're fine. We just got to keep our heads up. You know, listen, they're, they're an explosive offensive team. They were by far the best offensive team last year in the league. So scoring comes sometimes very easy to them. And I thought there was times where we had some really good possessions offensively, moved the ball really well, and we just didn't shoot it, didn't make it. You know, and sometimes with Monk and Fox and Herter, uh, Murray, you know, they've got a lot of guys that can, you know, knock down shots and they were shooting the ball well and we were not shooting the ball well and we just got to find different ways to try to, to overcome that at times. And, uh, that, you know, I thought they hung in there considering there were so many ups and downs in the game. And, and we've talked so much this season about when does Kobe become a little bit more of that finisher. Obviously, DeMar often has the ball in his hands and tonight when they were kind of putting so many of those doubles on him, how much did it help to kind of relieve that pressure, having Kobe be able to kind of step up in that, in that moment? Yeah, no, it was huge. He made a couple of great drives to the basket. He made a couple of threes. Um, you know, I thought the one key play, which was great, we got it, and he ended up dribbling down the floor. He got that three-point play. Um, there was a lot of big plays that he made, and you, know, you can't just every single time just expect DeMar to carry it all the time, and he certainly carried his weight there in the second half as much as he could. He could. Uh, but, you know, I thought Colby was great, you know, in terms of really capitalizing and being aggressive in the opportunities that he had to do that. Joey, we've talked to you numerous times about big deficits in this team, put themselves in big deficits. They've gotten out of a couple of them. Um, maybe the big one was 20 some. But why do you think, you've talked about this, there's no way you get to live. Why do you think, yes, their resiliency, but why are they getting in these big holes more often? We don't than score them? enough. You know, we just don't score enough. Um, we have droughts. You know, we have periods of time and quarters where there's just droughts. It's just, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, DeMar, in a lot of ways in that first half, I think really does a terrific job of trying to get guys involved. Like, I would not take back one of Alex Caruso's three point shots. He was 0 for 7 in that, in that first quarter. You were thirty percent from the three point line. When you're playing against an elite offensive team, and you have you have to at least, you know, 
maintain some level of pace. And I think sometimes, you know, the Boston's of the world, you know, where they score pretty easy and some other teams where guys can just hop up and knock down shots and we move the ball real well and generate a shot, we, we miss, we, we, have, we have to fight to get over that. We have to fight to get over it. And, and it's not to sit there and say that our, our, our guys can't score. It's just that there's times we go through periods where it's 70 to, you know, generally you don't go on those kind of runs if you're, I don't want to say keeping pace, but if you're scoring some. And, and we have some periods where we can go through whether it's some turnovers or missed shots or something gets really hot. But that's really kind of what it is for us is we do have some droughts that it's, it's hard for us to score. When I say it's not that I'm saying it's like not hard for us to generate shots, but we go through periods where we don't make, we go through periods where we just don't score quite enough to keep pace. And I give our guys credit. That happens sometimes. You know, like we get, we've talked to these guys all the time about living with the result of, you know, you move the ball past the ball. And it was the clip I showed at halftime was, was unbelievable ball movement. I think, I don't know who it was, maybe an Alice got a wide open corner three. He missed it. Like, we got to be able to respond. We got to put that behind us and got to go back. And it can't get, you know, deflating. Uh, you know, if maybe you really play great defense and one of those guys makes a tough one, you know. And I thought that happened a little bit. I thought we were much better in the second half fighting through that. But I don't think it's like because we're not playing hard or trying hard. I just think right. that sometimes we just have some droughts, you know, that, that are we, we got to just keep fighting. Coach Jonathan, your team, the Bulls, they, uh, they forced nine turnovers in the first half, uh, eight in the second half, but in that last stretch, uh, I think it was Malik, Trey, Trey Lyles, and uh, De'Aaron, they was they had turnovers too. Can you talk about, you know, that, because that, those those uh, 17 turnovers that the Kings had, that helped you guys get back into the game. No, it helped. And it's like, like last time we played against them, they scored, I think, 32 points in transition, and I think 16 and 32 came off our turnovers. So that's a big, you know, big deal. I think we're at our best defensively when we all help each other. You know, when we kind of can shrink the floor and get into passing lanes. Um, I thought we were really active with our hands. I thought we helped, you know, each other well. We were able to find. And listen, some some of the, the turnovers, quite honestly, were a little bit, you know, they had, they had a couple unforced ones where, you know, the ball went out of bounds. Um, someone was maybe put in a tough spot. But, yeah, I mean, I thought that was part of the reason why we did not have a, get off to a great start because I think we had four turnovers pretty quickly. I think we had five or six turnovers in that first quarter for us. And it wasn't a very good scoring quarter for us. So, um, yeah, I mean, us being able to force turnovers certainly helps get out in transition, and it helps you generate some easy baskets. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.